police agencies and some VIPs might be interested in what a Utah company has been busy making. Workers at the company have built bulletproof glass that can go in cars. It's not cheap, but it works. Alex Herbero got a demonstration this afternoon. Alex, any bullets make it through? Not a single one, Keith and Lori. Even though at first with a high-powered rifle shot, you'd think there was no way the glass would stop the bullet, but it did. Of course, me telling you is one thing. It's better to just see it for yourself. you don't believe it, but every single time, whether by a handgun, an M16 assault rifle, or even a high-powered 308 round rifle, the bullet never made it through the glass. It always amazes me. Dan Dresser is the vice president of High Protection Company, a Sandy-based business that specializes in bulletproof glass. Today, he and his co-workers, along with help from some police officers, took the glass to a shooting range to run it through more tests. Once again, it worked. Most of our work is overseas, but there is an increasing demand here. We know that as violence continues to escalate here in the United States, there's a greater need for it. And to show just how strong the glass is, on the side that was shot, you could see where it shattered, where the bullet hit. But on the other side of the glass, just some dimpling. Nothing actually came through the glass. It's just as smooth. I mean, you feel little dimples where the bullets would have penetrated, but the, the polycarbonate kept the glass and the spalling from coming through. Through. It's, it's amazing. It's also expensive. One piece of glass costs well over a thousand dollars. It's composed of layers of glass, acrylic, and polycarbonate. But in a life or death scenario, especially for law enforcement officers, Dresser thinks it's worth it, even if he didn't work for the company that makes it. It's a very expensive uh, material, but look what it can do. It saves lives. Dresser told me one story where a client in Prague got the glass in his car and was carjacked two weeks later. The carjacker shot at him, but the glass stopped the bullet while shards of the glass hit the carjacker, sending him to the hospital.